Hello, brothers and sisters. Welcome back to another episode of Point Rock Review. I had something in mind for this week, but I decided I'm going to do this instead because fall's here. And what kind of thing do you think of when you think of fall? You think of long sleeve sweatshirts, maybe uh, hoodies, um, campfire, maybe? Campfire. How about Fireside? Angry Orchard. Fireside mix. Yeah, because it's fall, we're going to jump into a cider this time. Because it's been a while since I've had a cider. And I got a story for the last one when I get to it. So uh, we're going we're gonna to crack this thing open and see... I don't even know which way is the right end, so... This could be either a very short video or a very long video. Which one are you? Okay, you're that one. I'm going to put you over here. You are that one. So I'm going to put you over here. You're the one I want to talk about a little bit more. And which brings us to our first beer, which is... The Crisp Apple, which I believe is their flagship beer. Um, they've had quite a few that I've tried. And even on this channel, I believe we've... we've I believe uh, Quasi and I have done a, uh, a review of this one. But I'm going to do it again because it's been so long since I had a, a Crisp Apple Angry Orchard that uh, I'm curious as to see if it is still good. Um, I don't remember what rating I gave it, but uh, I'm sure if you're really curious, you can find that video and um, browse at your leisure. But uh, yeah, 5% alcohol by volume, gluten-free, hide cider, hard, hide cider, hard cider with other natural flavors, and uh, yeah, 180 calories a can. It's got potassium too. Well, of course it is. It's cider. Okay. It smells like an angry orchard. Okay. That's cider. That's an angry orchard. Angry Orchard does a great cider. Reds does a great cider. Strongbow does a really good cider. And um, I'm hearing about other companies that I'm told do really amazing ciders. And uh, being fall, I'm really curious to try some of them. Just because. I don't know if I'll do a video on all of them. But uh, I definitely want to try some of them. Mm. But that one's good. If that isn't their flagship, it, it, it should be. This one's getting a 4.5. I don't know how anybody could uh, not like that. The next one we are going to try is one I thought was interesting when I saw it. It's called Natural Baked Apple Pie. Gluten-free, 5% alcohol by volume, hard cider with other natural flavors. And they don't tell you uh, what is actually in it to give it the baked apple pie flavor. They don't give you any, oh, you're going to detect notes of whatever or whatever or whatever. Uh, Angry com com Angry Orchard Cider com Cider Company LLC and F an affiliate of the Boston Beer Company in Cincinnati, Ohio. And is that Brenningsville, Pennsylvania? Did I say that right? It's it's fuzzy on the can, so it's it's almost like I'm reading it without glasses, even though. Uh, yeah, you notice when you get older, you start, you know, playing the trombone. But, okay. Uh, baked apple pie. I love apple pie. So let's see. I'll be damned. That actually smells a little bit like an apple pie. Oh, 
Okay. Wow. Okay. It's got like a touch of cinnamon in there. I believe they snuck in some brown sugar in there too. Or at least a flavor reminiscent of that. That's really interesting. That's impressive. That's really impressive. Natural baked apple pie. Angry Orchard, you're making me miss my mama's cooking. That's going to get a five. On the cider scale, that's a five. Whoa, baby. Okay. This next one, I'm not sure if I've had before. It's got a title that could be something that I've had before. Which means I probably have. Green Apple. Uh, I like Green Apple. I've had a lot of, a lot of like, candy and whatnot that had been flavored with what they call Green Apple. Let's crack this open and see what green apple smells like. I just smell apple. Okay, wow. Wow. It's like you can't even taste the alcohol. It's only 5%. But you can't even taste it. It's like you took a cold apple out of the fridge and then bit into a damn thing. You just started chewing it and all that, ju all those juices are just running in your mouth. That's exactly what that tastes like. Mm. That is so damn impressive. Angry Orchard. They've come a long way. Well, they've had... A, they've had uh, on the channel, we did one that I really liked. I think it was like maple something... I don't know, but uh, I'm there. This one's getting a four, but it's impressive. Wow, my my last few reviews have not been this impressive. Now, this is the one I wanted to do a story about because on their Facebook page, Angry Orchard put up a picture of a can. In fact, it was their crisp apple can as a tall boy, and there was like negative space between the angry orchard and the apple. And they did an image of, uh, the fireball, the, uh, the alcoholic beverage fireball, almost like they were actually infusing the angry orchard, crisp, crisp apple with fireball. Um, and I was curious, like, are we getting this? Are we getting this in the in the beer store? And I, I had to ask, uh, I had to ask my boss. I was like, are are we getting this? And he's like, I've never heard of this. He's like, uh, they have one though, like that. It's called Sinful Apple. And I said, no, this one's a Fireball. It's actually got Fireball in it, according to the can. They even had a little video video for it. So he's like, if if they did some kind of cross promotion thing, I'm not aware of it. And um, the other day, I went on their web, the Angry Orchard website, and saw that they actually have the Fireball logo on their website, and it looks like some kind of collaboration going on. But it's not like something that they sell. It's more like you buy it and then mix it yourself. We'll tell you how to do it. And it's like I was there an issue before with that was the the fireball or the fireball kind of doing something with the taste of the cider as it sat in the can maybe I, I don't know I've got there's a lot of things I'm curious about but uh, they ended up coming out with sinful apple and I don't know if this is supposed to be spicy at all or what is going on but this is also five percent alcohol by volume 
Sinful Apple. All right. I'm not really smelling many much cinnamon. Is something wrong with the olfactory? It just smells like apple. All right, let's give it a taste. Sinful apple. All right, it's apple, and it's got a lot of cinnamon in it. It is kind of reminiscent of having Fireball. Something like Fireball. In an Angry Orchard crisp apple. I guess. Hmm. I don't know. I could taste the cinnamon. It's definitely in there. I could taste the apple. They do work well together. I really don't have anything bad to say about it but uh the thing is you got this this baked apple pie which has the cinnamon in there and in this one oh my god the way the way the way the orchestra plays inside this can is soothing to the ears or is this one it's like you got apple and cinnamon. Very simple. Not bad though. I mean, the two work together well. Um, it's just the the symphony that was the other one. Has been reduced to four guys singing op- a cappella in the park, which isn't really a bad thing. It could be fun. I kind of was just expecting something, I don't know, spicier. I was hoping it would be like a spicy cinnamon, like an atomic fireball kind of thing, but with apple, I don't know. I don't know. Maybe my ex- maybe I set my expect- expectations too high, but 3.5. But uh, I, got, I do this thing where I judge the mix pack on a whole... Um, I don't know why I do that. It's just something I do. And I'm going to say Angry Orchard, they've been... I, I don't really remember a lot of some of the stuff they did. I do know I've tried quite a bit of Angry Orchard. And when I had that taste of crisp apple, I was like, I've tasted this before. It's it's still good. It's still good. Um, But Angry Orchard, I think you guys are you guys are still killing it. You guys still kill it. That baked apple pie. Oh my God. Chef's kiss. Good Lord. But, uh, yeah, there's nothing, uh, there's nothing off-putting about this box in the slightest. Um, my expectations were a little bit high for the sinful, and I should have just kept my imagination on the ground where it belongs. And, uh, but, you know, I'm gonna, I'm gonna say that mix pack, you got two fours, a five, and a 3.5. I'm gonna give you. I'm gonna give the whole thing a four, a solid four, which is a lot better than some of the mix packs I've been trying. Um, either four or four point five, somewhere in that that threshold. It's it's safer to say four, but that's gonna do it for this video. Thank you for watching. If you did, and I will see all of you beautiful people in the next video. Bye.